Hey, this is YBR, finally answering your questions you had in the Q&A video. And I know, this video is really late, isn't it? So let's say the first question we're going to answer is why is this video so late? Because it is really, really late. The reason for that is actually really simple. I wanted to do something fancy for the video, and every time I would try to do something fancy, it wouldn't work out. I wouldn't like the way it turned out, and I would end up having to scrap that video. And I did this a lot of times, doing something different or something I thought would be cool, and never ever turned out good. So now I'm finally like, giving up on doing something fancy. Instead, we're just going to play some BeamNG Drive and uh, answer the questions while I do that. A nice, simple solution because nothing else would work as well as I was hoping. So anyways, with that said, I still have my list of questions that I tried to use in the other videos and I'm going to reuse it here. The last time I looked at this list was about a month ago because I tried to wait long enough where it doesn't feel like I'm kind of running off a script or something because I already know what I'm going to say. I basically kind of forgot what the questions are by this point in time. And I think that'll lead to the most honest answers I can possibly do, which is kind of important, don't you think? So anyways, the first thing I have listed was just to address the fact that half the comments, well, not literally half, but a ton of the comments were people demanding to see my face. And, you know, I really don't get why people would want to see my face. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, like somebody comes up to you and says, hey, this food is gross. Do you go, let me taste it? Because I tell you I'm ugly and you're like, let me see it. It's like, no, you, you don't want that. I mean, if somebody held a turd up to your face and said, hey, this tastes gross. Do you want to taste it? You're not going to say yes. At least you shouldn't. Just don't, don't lick poop. Please, don't lick poop. That's all I'm saying. Don't lick poop. We're getting all off topic here. But the point is, I'm ugly. You don't want to see my face. Just like, you know poop tastes like crap. Literally. Oh, my goodness. That was a, I didn't realize I said that until after I said that. That is amazing. But, uh... That was just so funny. Uh, to me, I, that made me laugh. Uh, I made myself laugh. Um, yeah, you don't want to see my face. I mean, we're going to do it a million views, cause I, or subscribers, because I promised it. But it's gonna be, you're going to all be sorry. You're going to be very sorry. Anyways, the first actual question. Yeah, we have questions finally. How long did it take? Way long time. Can't believe this truck's still moving. Ah, I guess it's not really. Uh, first question is, what game consoles do you have and which ones are your favorites? So for the ones I have and my favorites, I kind of have to do them on a generation by generation basis because it's hard to compare like an NES to a PlayStation 3. It's like, I like them for different reasons. You can't just say one is better than the other, really. So I'm going to do this on a generation by generation basis and I can actually look at my shelf right now and be like, okay, what do I have? And I can like look at it and make sure I don't forget any. So I think the earliest generation is just, I have is the NES and the NES is the only one from that generation. And so that one basically wins for that generation. And then the next generation I have consoles would be the SNES, Sega Genesis, and um, Sega CD. Now for that one, it's kind of weird because I do really like the Sega CD, but it's kind of objectively not good. Like that was when people, when the developers were first trying to figure out really how to use a CD for games. So there was a lot of games that were just unusual and a lot of like FMV games and stuff. But to me, I like those. And they're not ex exactly what you'd call good games, but they're just interesting. So I kind of like them for that fact. And my truck's broken, so let's go ahead and move that. And then uh, I do have good games for the uh, Genesis, too, that I play. But on the SNES, I really don't have any games that are really that good. Like, I have four games, I think, for it. That's it. It's like Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy and um, Populous, and I think a bowling game. A bowling game I like, because I love bowling. Populous, uh, not really, because I like the PC version of it better if I was to play it, because the controls are just better there. And Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, not my thing. I'm not smart. These games are for smart people. I am not one of them. Let's do some interior crashes real quick. Yeah, I can't tell what's going on, but we crashed good. Oh, there's only two cameras for this one. All right. Uh, the next generation would be, um, let me think here before, real quick. I think it's uh, just the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation 1. That's all I have for that one. And for that one, I think the uh, PlayStation 1 probably loses. Yeah. I just have more games for the Nintendo 64 that are enjoyable. I have some good games for the PlayStation 1, but there's just, there's so many games that Nintendo came out with back then that were 
games that were really, really good. And I would still play more than the PlayStation 1 games that I have. So Nintendo 64 is the, my favorite one from that generation. I don't have a Sega Saturn at all, so I don't know how it would compare. Uh, maybe I should get one someday. I don't know. Next generation would be the one that I have the most consoles from, I think. It'd be like the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 2, the Xbox One, and the GameCube. That's a, a lot of different consoles, so it's kind of hard to even just compare them all. I mean, four different ones, and I have to say which one's the best. Um, well, here's what I can say. It's definitely not the Xbox One. That's for sure, because it doesn't really have anything that makes me want to use it that much like it has a few games that are good that are only on it but I never cared for the controller design much and uh, I didn't really even know anybody who used the Xbox everybody either had a PlayStation 2 or a GameCube really so that one kinda loses just by that fact so it's really between the Dreamcast the GameCube and the PlayStation 2 and I do like a lot of my Dreamcast games like there are some good games there PlayStation 2 also has some good games, but there's not as many that are, like, timeless. Like, Dreamcast, there are games that I kind of consider, like, timeless games, where there hasn't been another game that's been like it kind of thing. Well, there are games that are like it, but there's there's just something about those games where it's like, I would still play these. PlayStation 2, it kind of has games where it's like, they were good games, but then there were games that are newer that are similar to them that I would kind of prefer to play over that. GameCube's a lot like the Dreamcast. So really, it's come down to Dreamcast versus GameCube. Oh, what a tough decision here. Okay, I like the form factor of the Dreamcast better, because the GameCube is that really clunky cube, and it kind of is a pain to, like, put in anything, because it's just a weird shape, at least for what I would use, like, kind of put it in. So it loses because of that. There. That's the best I can come up with. So I'm going to go ahead and switch cars, and then there's two more generations of consoles left. It's a long question, dude. Who, put, who, made me, who gave such a long question? Uh, let's use the Subaru Impreza, though. Uh, the next generation is PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and the Wii. Those are the ones I have. I actually have all of them from that generation. And for that one, I would say um, the Wii is great for like playing with your family, you know? You're like, Mom, play some video games. She'll play the Wii. <laughs> uh, that's what was always funny about it. I could get my mom to play it, and I get to laugh at her. But we have fun. Um, Xbox 360, only thing going for it really is it got Forza. Like that's, that's it. That's the only reason I own it, literally. It's just for Forza. It's the Forza 360 box. And Forza Box 360, that's a better name. I don't know why I said it like that. And then you got the PlayStation 3, which has quite a few games I, I like. There's the, um, well, they're, they have to be imported. So that's kind of cheating, isn't it? I'm home! Oh, I hit a tree. Um, but, like, the games I have for the PlayStation 3, I got Gran Turismo, which wasn't an import game. But then I have uh, Initial D and Wangan Midnight and then some other game, I think, as well, that I can't remember off the top of my head. But, like, the three games I play for the PlayStation 3, well, three of the five I play, really, were all imported game. So it's hard to really say. And the other one is Madden, which can be on either console. So it's like, yeah... Yeah, I don't know if that's a fair comparison, but if we include import games, it's great for that. So, PlayStation 3 wins for that, but we wins for actually playing with people. You know, I don't play games online, period, so I don't... Like, people might be saying, yeah, you, you do this online. I don't play online, so I don't know. And the next generation, the Wii U generation, as I like to call it, because that's the only one that was worth me purchasing. Uh, the Xbox One, the other Xbox One... I guess you could call it, and the PlayStation 4 don't have anything that really interests me, and they're expensive right now, so I won't buy them yet. Maybe someday I will, but as of right now, the Wii U was the most reasonably priced, and it got good games for it. It got lots of good games. You know, and then Splatoon's going to be coming out soon. That game looks interesting. So that is all the consoles I own, as well as my favorites. I own a lot of consoles. And um, one thing to note, the NES I've had since I was a baby. The Nintendo 64 is a Pikachu one I've had since I was a a kid as well. Like, I really do mean baby. That NES is ancient and, like, been with me a long time. Uh, the Nintendo 64 is a Pikachu one, which is kind of cool. And I've got that when it was a little older, but it was still pretty new. And the other ones were all picked up at garage sales. 
I think even the GameCube was. Well, not the PlayStation 3, of course. The PlayStation 3 was bought new. Xbox 360 was bought pre-owned or used or whatever from a game store. Wii was bought new, like really new, the day of release. It was actually hard to find them back then. And Wii U was bought just kind of on a whim a few months ago. Well, quite a few months ago. Oh, I also have a uh, 3DS and a normal DS. 3DS XL, I should say. Those are nice, too. I got so many consoles, man. It's funny, though. I don't have any games. That's the problem. I spent all my money on the consoles and no games. Like, what do you get for the 3DS? I got Monster Hunter 3, Monster Hunter 4, pre-ordered. I'll get it when it comes out. Got the limited edition and stuff. Uh, but I got that and uh, Super Smash Brothers. That's it. I might get Animal Crossing soon, but I don't know. So there we go. That is all my consoles. Again, I think that's actually fully answered the question properly. Next question. Man, if I do like 10 minutes per question, this is going to be crazy, isn't it? Uh, next question is, what is your favorite movie? That's a good question. You know, I don't watch movies. I don't really watch media at all. So I can't really say, like, this is my favorite because I don't know any movies. Like, if you told me to name a movie, I could go Star Wars. And I almost said Star Trek there. But I'm like, no, that's the TV show. You could tell how little I care about that kind of thing. So I really don't know. I guess like, I, I don't even know myself personally. And the next question is, what is your favorite TV show? And it's basically the same thing. It's like, I don't know. I do watch Top Gear, so there you go. Top Gear wins. Because that's literally the only TV show I, I know of that I actually watch. You know, if I'm the only kind of thing I really do is sometimes I'll listen to podcasts while I'm answering questions from you guys. And that's really the only kind of media that I have that I actually pay attention to. Everything else is just like, I don't really care. So, yeah. Weird, huh? Our next question is going back to my face. The next question is all about my face, but first let's change cars. Getting bored of the impression. I'm getting bored of this map. We should go to a different map, but I gotta install one. So, you know what? We'll talk about my face after I install a map. I'll be right back. Whoops. Obnoxious cut to the menu because I forgot to actually show the exiting out because I was adding a map and stuff and I totally blanked out. But anyways, back in the menus and we're gonna go to Black Hills, Nevada. Now, back to my face. The question is, why is the face reveal at 1 million subscribers? And truthfully, the reason I said that is because I never thought it would actually happen. I said that when I had like 5,000 subscribers after making videos for like 2 years or something. So based on that logic, I would have 400 years until I would actually have to do a face reveal. So I was like, yeah, I'll do it then, because that's never going to happen, right? Well, that's actually going to happen, it seems like it might happen. I mean, it looks like it's going to happen based on uh, statistics, because now it's like I'm getting over a 1,000 subscribers a day on average, which means it'll be less than two years before I hit a million. And I made that promise thinking, oh, it'll never happen. Now it's actually going to happen. So that taught me a life lesson there. Don't make promises even if you think it'll never happen. You know, if you ever promise to somebody, if I win the lottery, I'm going to give you half the money. Don't do that. Even though the chances of winning the lottery is so ridiculously small, don't do that. Because if you do win the lottery, you'll regret saying that. So it's a life lesson right there. Because now I'm going to have to show my face. And a promise is a promise to me. Even if I don't want to do it, I made the promise, so I will do it. <laughs> this truck is all crooked, man. I broke its suspension up. I like this. I'm watching it drive. Um, next question is, why are most of the videos racing games? And recently I have tried to expand off of them and do some other games, but mostly it was just because that's what I felt like playing. And that's what you guys seemed interested in as well. If you guys weren't interested in them, I would just play them off camera, obviously. But you guys seem the most interested in off uh, racing games, and you still really do seem the most interested in off racing. Uh, I keep trying, I keep wanting to say off-roading, I don't know why. Because I was just off-roading, that's why. But you guys still seem the most interested in racing games, so those are the games that I actually upload when I play them and not the ones I would just play off camera. So, that's the main reason is because that's what you guys seem to enjoy. Nice and simple. Uh, next question is, how old are you? And that's an easy answer. It's 21, which means I can legally go drinking. I don't know. I just stay at home and don't drink because I ain't got no money for that. I save my money. Ain't no alcohol mu budget. Nuh uh, no such thing. That's food budget. Gotta eat. Uh, next question is. I'm looking at my list. I'm almost falling off the road. That's great. Uh, what is your name on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3? And I use an offline profile, so I don't think it really. I, there's anything you can do with that name, but I literally use the the name 
the letters YBR. But if you add the person with the online profile YBR, that is not me. Don't bother them because that's totally not me. Uh, that's just the name I use for my like accounts, like my Windows account on my computer I'm using right now is also YBR. It's the name I use on things. It's just my my initials in reverse. You know, I, but don't add them because that's not me. Nice airtime truck. Uh, next question is, what is your favorite car? Which is a really easy question for me. It is a last generation Mazda RX-7 because those cars. I mean, that's just. I mean, do you really have to give a reason? I mean, it's just that's my favorite. That's the car I've loved forever. I first remember ha seeing it in Gran Turismo 2, and it was a cr it was a cool looking car back then. It even looks cool now still. It hasn't aged a bit. And uh, someday, hopefully, I will own one, but not yet. I do have a previous generation RX-7 because those things are dirt cheap. And I have an RX-8. So I'm getting closer. Someday I'll actually get the RX-7, but the RX-7 is more than the RX-8. It's older. It's funny. It's an older car, and it's, our, it's basically gotten to the point where it's starting to appreciate. So I was like, will I ever be able to get one? Who knows? Uh, RX-8s are still going down in price, though. Those are... they're all, like, In terms of actual abilities, they're pretty close, but... RX-7 just looks so much nicer. And then if I was to really go crazy with it, you know, I'll be like, yeah, let's, you know, like this is if I was rich. I'd be like, yeah, let's four rotor swap this thing and that'd be amazing, right? And then you can say, you know, do a, a subtle wide body kit, something that doesn't look like a crazy race car or anything, just something that gives you a uh, wider, uh, uh, like uh, the ability to legally put on wider tires because when you have a four rotor engine, you're going to have a lot of power. You're going to want to put that to the ground, so... That is my favorite car, and that is how I would make it if I had infinite funds. And that probably wouldn't be street legal at that point, so you might as well stick a roll cage on it and add a big old wing. And make it a track car. One expensive track car, but it'd be a cool one. Um, let's see, next question is, why, uh, don't you do, why don't you do any flight sims? And uh, the simple reason is I don't like flying games. Like, it's just not something that really interests me. Because flying games are annoying for me to try to do because it's like there is too many dimensions for me to worry about. I have to go vertical. I like I have X, Y, and Z axis I have to worry about. I like just having an, a simple thing where it's like I'm on the ground all the time unless I hit a jump. It's nice and simple for an idiot like me to be able to control it. You know, flight sim, it's like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not good. So that's why I don't do flight sims. Next question. Do you, leave, do you live alone? And the answer is no. I still live with my parents. And I say money's tight, uh, yeah, it is. Someday I'll move out, maybe, if I have the money. Houses are expensive, though. And they're really expensive, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know how I'm going to save up that much money, but that's what I need to do to move out. Because I don't believe in renting. Nor do I believe in loans. It's against my, uh, my beliefs of how to handle money. It's just like, I, no, no, I won't do that. So our next question is, what celebrity do you look like? Uh, what celebrity is balding and really ugly? You know what? Scratch that. You know what? How about this? Um, picture your, picture your favorite celebrity, okay? I look exactly like him. That's the same guy I was thinking of. How'd you do that? That's exactly how I look. Oh, wait. You probably are picturing a girl celebrity, though. Um, hmm, right. Well, if you're picturing a guy one, that's exactly what I look like. If you're picturing a girl one, no, it's... Well, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, just imagine me like them. I don't care. Just imagine I look just like them, okay? Because I really don't think I look like any celebrity because somebody who looks like me couldn't be a celebrity. It's that simple. Uh, let's see. Next question is, what is your favorite muscle car? So I can't say RX-7 on this one, can I? Can I say RX-3? Does an RX-3 count as a muscle car? I, I mean, probably not traditionally. I mean, the problem is, is I like cars that can handle. That's the thing I care about is handling abilities. I don't really care about straight line speed much, so... I mean, because it's like when you're on the streets, okay, I'm at 60 miles per hour. If I go any faster than this, I'll be breaking the law, so I don't really need a fast of a car. However, you can go through every corner at 60 miles per hour, and for the most part, nobody will care, as long as you're not trying to drift everywhere and you attract the cops. So that's why grip is the best on the streets. Plus, that way, you're less likely to die. A grippy car will hold the road, and you will hold on to it and not die. We've reached the end of the world! So I really don't really have any muscle cars that I like. It's not, it's just not the kind of car I'm very interested in. You know, if I had to choose one, it would basically be, I need to rework this entire suspension setup to make it decent. You know, if you can, can consider a Corvette a muscle car, the newest Corvette, that one would win because that thing has a, some, that crazy magnetic fluid suspension or whatever, that thing is 
that thing got grip. It's got a great suspension. But muscle cars, you know, traditionally that's an older vehicle, and those things, you know, suspension improvements are not present in those. So you'd have to swap out a lot of parts for me to like the car. If I was saying it maybe just based off of looks, I would probably do a Chevelle SS, because those things are probably the best looking muscle car to me. But I would never own one, actually, because I don't like that kind of car. But they do look nice, I gotta admit that. A Chevelle SS, those things are beautiful. And, um, one thing I noticed, by the way, is the longer I do these videos, the worse the answers get. So this will be the last question I do, and my car has also died. Uh, will you ever do a video showing your real cars? And uh, I probably won't, because the RX-7, I'm trying to sell that, basically, right now, and get rid of it. And uh, as of right now, it's actually in a corner until I have somebody who wants to buy it, and then I'll try to move it out of that corner. But right now, it's in a corner, and there's no real good way to do a video for it. It's like, you're not going to be able to. So, it just sits there out of the way. The RX-8 I own, which is my actual car I use nowadays, uh, it's totally stock. Like, there's nothing I could do a video for that would have much purpose. It's totally stock, and it's black on black. That's all you need to know to just pop into Google and see what it looks like. It has no wing, but I want to add a wing. Maybe if I add a wing, I could do a video for like, look at my wing! Uh, but I'm stupid. I'm like, what wing should I get? Like, oh, yes, I want a legitimate R Magic wing that costs over a thousand dollars. And it's like, well, we're not getting a wing, actually. So then I'm like, what about a Mazda Speed one? Nope, those are also expensive. Because I want an actual wing that looks good on the car. I don't want, you know, just a cheap old giant gross wing. I want one that flows with the body lines of the car and actually makes it look good. Because I personally think the car looks better with, with a wing, but not a crazy one. One that actually matches the car looks nice. And it's a rear-wheel drive car. It would be functional at, to some extent. Whoa, that was weird. That was, it was really weird. The game just kind of froze and then I teleported. I lost my train of thought. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, the wing, right. Uh, I want a wing that is nice and it flows with the body of the car. And it would be functional because the car is rear-wheel drive. So at highway speeds, I might get, you know, a tenth of a worse miles per gallon, which I really don't care about. That's not something I care about when I purchase a car. In fact, if a car ever advertises miles per gallon as a way, as a feature, I probably have no interest in that car at all. Um, but I can't decide on, like, they're expensive if I want a legit one. Like, I want a legit one, like an OEM or a real well-known, um, uh, manufacturer for those kinds of things. Not just a cheesy eBay wing or something. I'd want a legitimate, cool one that I like. And those aren't cheap, because, like I said, I want either the, a real Mazda Speed one or a real R Magic one. Those ones both look pretty nice to me. But they're both really expensive. Uh, but I might pick up an OEM one and just get that installed. Or do it myself, I don't know. I don't know how comfortable I feel drilling holes into my own vehicle. That's a scary idea. And my luck, it would leak everywhere and every time it rains, everything in my trunk would get wet. I think somebody once asked what's in the trunk of my car. That was a random question. Since we're on it, I have a pair of shop gloves because whenever you check the oil on that car, you want it to be hot and you don't want to burn your hands off because the dipstick is too short. So I have a pair of uh, mechanics gloves, I guess is actually what they're called. Uh, extra bottle of oil because it burns oil by design and a funnel. That's literally all that's in my trunk. At least as far as I know. Um, so that's all the questions I'm going to answer in this video. I'll be doing a lot of these videos to actually get through all the questions you guys asked. But uh, there's one of them. And like I said, I tried to do other things that are fancy. It just never worked out. And now I'm just saying, you know what? I, I got to get this video out. I promised I would do it. So we're just going to do it nice and simple and just drive around and BMG drive while I answer questions. I mean, you guys love BMG Drive, so I, I mean, I figure it's, it's still more crashing, so what's not to like? You know, I know the background gameplay is going to be something you'll enjoy versus the other games where it's like, this might be interesting, and I'm like, never mind, this is a terrible idea. So, until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.